Hello friends, welcome to CSL. So, today we will continue with the third lecture in the lecture series of bolted and riveted connection and we will continue today with the remaining portion theory of bolted connection and we will see some numerical based on it. So, let us start. So, similar to the riveted joint, the strength of riveted joint, strength of bolted joint can be find out also by true procedure. One is strength of plate, another one is strength of joint. So, first time we do strength of plate or formula to sum. It is called the clause 6.3.1 page 32 is 800 2007. This IS code is allowed in your examination. So, you do not have to memorize this formula, you will get in the IS code. So, what is the 0.9 an fu by gamma m1. So, what is gamma m1? Is the partial factor of safety ok this is given in table 5 and its value is 1.25 ok so page 30th by Java to mala table 5 or gamma m1 or value it is 1.25 ok what is fu fu is the ultimate strength of the plate so plate or to mala called grade to the d tha ki question of fu 4110 mainly use hai so fu hobo to mala called 410 Newton per mm square. Okay. Now, An. An is given by this long formula in the IS code. So, let us see what are this formula represents. So, I am at a connection law. Okay. So, and if the bolts are in this direction. Side a bolt does not, but all in the different line. So, our gauge keta and a gauge distance. Similarly, our pitch to and a gaibo. So, our PSI square by 4G term to us, this comes only for staggered. Jodi amar connection or bolt to in the same line thake, no inclined portion, then this will not be required. Okay. So PSY 4G will see in where the connection can fail. Okay. So plate to core core fail over par. Ane ke fail over par ata. Okay. So or ane ke fail over par. Or and I can fail over. Okay, so there are many ways to fail. So, jitya me thora first to sum and I give the fail hoya se. Okay, how many inclined portions are came that will be added? Okay, for critical section one one. Similarly, for two two we'll see, for three three we'll see. Then the least of the 3 which will be the value will be added in the equation of an. So, numerical quorum it will be more clear to you. Okay. So, first of all, so we will see some numerical. Okay. Then only it will be clear. Okay. But till then, to the amount normal I had, the amount an I have b minus n d h into t that portion this portion is not required okay so let us go to the next one it is the shearing strength okay now shearing strength of bolt similarly amar riveter ni sina shearing strength aro ki thakibo amar bearing strength okay the first we will see the shearing strength it is given as bnsb comma mb Loss it is 10.3.3 page 75 of IS 800. So, VDSB is given as VNSB by gamma MB. You can see again VNSB is given as FUB by root 3, NN ANB, NS ASB. Okay. So, this FUB is the grade of bolt. Okay. So, here you do not confuse the term. Okay. Lagawala is called a silo, a porilova, a few women a key buzai say. 
आई स्कोर एफ यू वि जगह एफ यू लिखी से कितना आको लिखी से बोल्टर कारण ओके सो बट इट उल एफ यू वि एफ यू वि कि है आल्टिमेट स्ट्रेस अफ बोल्ट आल्टिमेट स्ट्रेस अफ बोल्ट कौत पा इफ यू एफ सीन माइ फार्ष्ट लेक्चर आई एफ सीन देट क्लास फोर पॉइंट सिक्स इज बेसिकली यूज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स मैंने कि बुझा जार आल्टिमेट स्ट्रेन्थ है फोर हाण्ड्रेड और इल स्ट्रेस है जिरो पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू फोर हाण्ड्रेड देट इज टू फर्टी निटन पार एम एम स्कुर ठीक है तो हमारे एफ यू भी पाई गलो नेक्स्ट हमारे की आसे एन एन ए एन बी एन एस ए एस बी ओके सो फॉर दिस लेट्स टेक वन डबल कवर बर्ड जॉइंट ठीक है सर ओके सो दिस आर द बोल्ट ओके এতিয়া সোয়া বোল্টু কেনে কোয়া থাকে ফাস শেন কেরিযা থাকিবো ওকে তার পিশত কিয়ো বো থ্রে ডাই জাবো ঠিকা সেনা ফাস শেন থাকিবো � तो कौन ये तो कैसे नंबर ऑफ शेयर प्लेन्स विथ थ्रेड माने एक वाला एक शेयर प्लेन और थ्रेड आसे ना नहीं यस आसे केटा आसे ऐटा तो बेसिकली ये तो क्यों है जब वो एन एन इक्वल टू वन एन एस की कैसे नंबर ऑफ शेयर प्लेन विदाउट थ्रेड तो ये तो शेयर प्लेन आसे विदाउट थ्रेड ये तो एन एस क्यों है जब व पार्ट जॉइन है जो तो हमारे दुटाए वन वन पैसे हो पर इफ यू सी लेब जॉइंट ठीक है सर लेब जॉइन है ऐने को ऐसे ऐने का जापो ऐने का थ्रेड था कि वो ओके इतनी बात हुआ ओनली थ्रेड यहाँ तक केटा ऐसे हमारे शेयर प्लेन ऐटा ऐसे और ओनली थ्रेड पोर्शन टू ए शेयर प्लेन अत पड़ी से ठीक है सर दैट मींस हमारे � ना ही पड़ा तो एन एस हो जा जिरो ठीक है ये तो बहुत इम्पर्टेन्ट है बस्तु तो तुम लोग बुझी पासे सके बस्तु तो एन एन और एन एस टू हट इज ए एन वि एंड ए एस वि एन वि है थ्रेड एरिया ए एस वि है शेक एरिया ठीक है तो जो भी बोल्ट है ये तो ठीक है सर ये तो दिस इज़ दी शेंक एरिया जिस की बेनेस पाइ बाइ फोर इनटू डी स्क्वायर डी इज़ दी नॉमिनल डाय ऑफ़ दी बोल्ट और वो ये तो थ्रेड एरिया ये तो है किमान कुछ लो जीरो पॉइंट सेवेन एट इफ़ यू हैव सीन माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर इट इस मेंशन ओके फाइव बाय फोर डिस्कवर इस दे नॉमिनल डाय ऑफ़ दी बोल्ट तो इट हो जावो तुम्हार एएसबी इट हो जावो एएनबी ओके सो आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर टू हाउ टू फाइंड द शेयर कैपेसिटी ऑफ़ बोल्ट ओके सो लेट्स गो टू दी देर आर सम टर्म्स आर देर ऑफ़ दिस टर्म्स रिडक्शन इन शेयर ओके रिडक्शन इन शेयर तो हमें जितने हमें शेयर पाम हमें भीड़ीएस भी जितने हमें शेयर वैल्यू पाम शेयर स्ट्रेंथ तो ताते हमें क्या करें भीएनएस भी बाय गामा एमबी लगात कितना मन टर्म मल्टीप्लाई करें हमें फॉर रिडक्शन कितना होगा जो दी लॉन्ग जॉइंट यूज़ है व्हाट इस लॉन्ग जॉइंट ओके लेंथ तू क्वेश्चन दिया था कि वो जो दिया था के देन उसको फाइंड आउट रिडक्शन वैल्यू ऑफ लॉन्ग जॉइन बाय दिस फॉर्मूला एंड द रेंज इस 0.7 टू 1 ओके जस्ट सी इमान क्वेश्चन उतनी नहीं दिया बट बाय चांस जो दिया आई जाए देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट ओके अगेन 
जो ग्रीप प्लेन दिया था क्वेश्चन दिया था एक्सट्रा के जो दिया था देन एगेन एल जि दिया था तुम एल जि जो फाइव डी के डांगर है डी एच डि डायफ बोल्ट ठीक है देन अल्सो यू हेफ टू फाइंड आउट दि दिस रिडक्शन फैक्टर ओके बी एल जि शुड नट बी मोर दैन बीटा आई जि एंड एल जि शेल नट बी मोर दैन एट डी इट कैन बी मोर दैन फाइव डी बट इट कैनट बी मोर दैन एट डी ओके अगेन इफ पैकिंग प्लेट आर यूज तो पैकिंग प्लेट जो यूज है एने कानेक्शन कर टाइम टाइम और एक पैकिंग प्लेट टाइप यूज है ओके देन वे टू सी साम रिडक्शन फैक्टर एंड फाइनल जो सब रिडक्शन फैक्टर ये करूँ सब गुटे क्या जो दिया था देन आवर फाइनल फर्मूला बिकम एन टू बीटा आई जे बीटा एल जि बीटा पी के ओके सो एक टू मल्टीप्लाई अल द्री रिडक्शन फैक्टर एंड फाइनल दिस शेयर स्ट्रेंथ भैल्यू उल भी अबटेन्ड ओके सो इफ इट्स नट गिवेन जस्ट कन्सिडार अल दिस एज वन 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 सो फाइनल दिस उल वि द normal if any reduction factor is not used okay so last we'll see the bearing strain it's given as clause 10.3.4 page 75 formula is given as vdpb equal to vnpb by gamma mb again vn and pb is given as 2.5 kb dtfu okay the kb is molar now what is kb kb is molar of this E by three D naught. E is the end distance. Okay, e is the end distance. D naught is dia of hole. Okay. P is the pitch. Again, D naught is dia of hole. F U is the ultimate strength of bolt. F U is the ultimate strength of plate. And this is one constant one. So which one is smaller? We will obtain K B as that value. Again, D is the dia of bolt. T is the thickness. Of plate, minimum thickness you can say. If it's given in the question, we'll see. F U is the ultimate stress of plate. Okay. So by this we'll obtain, and if you from this we'll obtain the bearing strength. Okay. So after. What is the design strength? Design strength. I am going to call them. It will be list of same as rivet value, all the three. Okay, list of shearing, bearing, and the uh, tension of plates. Okay, so the list value is to come. It will be our design strength of. Bolt. Okay, what will be the efficiency? Efficiency will be the this design strength of bolt divided by uh, two. By Solid plate strength. Okay, same as the riveted value. Solid plate strength is given in the clause six point. I think it's given. In, let me check. It's given in six point two, which is equal to a g f y by gamma m not. Gamma m not is given as one point one as per table five. Okay, AG is the gross area. We'll see F Y is the yield strength. So by this we can find the efficiency. Okay, so I think the theory part is clear. But when you will do some numerical, it will be easier for you. Okay, so let's go to the numerical part. Okay, now what is given? Find the bolt strength for a double cover bar joint as shown in figure. Which is subjected to a tensile force. Use 20 mm diameter bolts, 4.6 grade, and Fe 
four one ten blade plates. Okay, take thickness of the main plate is ten mm, and thickness of cover plate is eight mm. Means this thickness is ten mm, and this is eight. This is also eight mm. Okay. So let's start. How to approach? First of all, what we'll see? Given always right. What are the given things in the question? what is the diameter of bolt it's given as 20 mm what will be the diameter of hole okay diameter of hole dh if you have seen my previous lecture for bolt it is 22 mm we have to add plus 2 where we have got this you can get in table 19 if you are not sure what to add in table 19 page 73 you will get that for bolt from 16 to 22 we have to add plus 2 for diameter of hole okay then what is given class 4.6 so what is 4.6 means fu is 400 fy is 0.6 into 400 which is 240 Newton per mm square. It's also Newton per mm square. Okay. Again, Fe four hundred ten. This will be for bolt. Fe four hundred ten is for plate. So it's four hundred ten Newton per mm square. Okay. Anything else? I don't think it's given. Everything is written in the question. Okay. So, how to approach? We'll find out two things. strength of bolt strength of plate if we have to find the design strength but in the question what is given find the bolt strength bolt strength means we'll find out only this one shearing and bearing the minimum of these two will be the strength of bolt but we will find out everything the strength of plate also so that it's easier for you okay but in the question is given as only strength of bolt so let's start with the shearing part if you uh, what is given vdsb is vnsb by 1.1 okay vnsb is given as fub by root 3 it will be 1.1 It's given as how much N N A N B plus N S A S B. Okay, now F U B it's four hundred ten. It's given. Okay, now what is the question? It's given. It's given as the double cover bar joint. Okay, double cover bar joint. It means this is the bolt. Okay. So this is the shank area, and from here let's assume thread is approach. So I have seen in the previous theory, it says that if it's the double cover bar joint, N N equal to one, N S is also equal to one. Okay, A N B equal to point seven eight pi by four twenty mm bolt twenty square, A S B equal to pi by four into 20 square so you have got all the details you need so if you put this you will get is 103 314 newton okay so this is the shearing for one bolt let please remember one bolt okay so how many bolts are there if you see there are eight bolts okay but in this double cover bar joint if this part fails that means hole connection will fail or if this part fail hole connection will fail so it's not required to all the eight bolts to fail only four bolts will do okay so what will do ki kori mami we will only find out the strength of 
total shearing strength keter ami ulam only 4 volts because atta ulabo na lage because they are pods they are double cover board joint okay double cover board joint to ami ei sai ta amar fail hoye jay amar connection to fail hoye jabo so what we will do we will only take 4 volts and what is the value 103314 okay so 103314 if you do it will come around 413256 newton okay this is the shearing one now let's find out the bearing okay so bearing again it's given as P D P B B N P B by gamma M B B N P B it is 2.5 K B D T F U okay. So, K B again is smaller of E by 3 naught P by 3 D naught minus 0.25 F u b by F u 1. Okay. So, let us see what are the terms e is the end distance now is anything is given in the question nothing no pitch distance no end distance. So, we have to assume everything okay. assume. So, if you can see it is given in the clause 10.2.3 that minimum pitch distance is 2.5 d. Okay. So, d is 20, so it will be 50 mm. So, may p mean is 50 mm, we have to provide minimum 50 mm. So, now you can assume whatever you want to let us be just little higher from the minimum 60 mm. Okay. Gauge would have no I score recommendation for minimum gauge, but we have for maximum gauge is that it will be 100 plus 40. It is all given in the clause. Okay. It is around I think it is given as clause 10 point. 2.3.3. So, if you forget any minimum maximum recommendation, you can just follow the ice code, you will get all the answer. Okay. So, 100 plus 4 into what is T in this here? What is the value of T? See, we have seen my previous lecture, there are two values of T one is 8 mm, another is 10 mm. Okay. 8 is for cover plate and 10 is the main plate. So, in this type of situation we have to consider the minimum one the summation of this two or the plate. So, if you see either it can be 10 mm or it can be the summation of 2 16 mm. So, we will take t equal to 10 mm. Okay. So, it is 10 it is 140. Okay. So, maximum is 140, but let us assume for better purpose or for easier g equal to same as the pitch distance 60 mm okay. so, for our convenience. Next what is the end distance? End distance is given as around 1.5 d in the i s code. Okay. So, it will be around 1.5 30 is 30 mm. So, I think that will do. So, k b minimum of e by 3 d naught it is 30 by 3 into d naught. Now, what is d naught? It is given as 22 mm. Then p is 60, 3 into 22 minus 0.25. Then f u b is 400 by 410 is 1. So, this you will get around 0 0.45, this will get around 0 0.659, this 0.975 and 1. So, minimum is 0 0.45. So, take k v equal to 0 0.45. Okay. 
So, what will be the V T V V N P V? 2.5 into let us make V D P V 2 K V we know D T F U by gamma M B K V is 0 0.45 D is 20 T is 10 mm F U is 410. Okay. So, if you solve this you will get around seven three eight double zero Newton for one volt again it can fail in four volts okay I have said this curves. So for four volts it will be two nine five two zero zero Newton okay. So strength of bolt equal to what will be the strength of bolt shearing we have gone get as 413256 and bearing is 295200 so this is the strength of bolt okay but this will be the answer to your question but we will extend we will find the efficiency also so if we find the efficiency we find the efficiency we need the plate also. So, for plate what will the two strength of plate it is given as 0 0.9 a n f u by gamma m 1. Okay. So, a n is given is long formula, but we will take only this one b and d h into t. Okay. So, what is b and d h? Now, see this is the width. Do you know the width? No, but we can find out this distance we have taken as gauge distance 60 and is taken as 30 here also 30. So, b equal to 120 mm ok. Next the bolt can fail in this line, in this line, this in this line ok. So, in one line how many bolts are there only 2 ok. So, the formula will be 120 minus 2 into 22 into thickness is 10. Okay. So, it comes around 760 square. Okay. Now, if you put this in formula, this will be 410, this will be 1.25, you will get around 224352 Newton. Okay. Now, if you have to find the efficiency, we have to know list of all the three divided by strength of solid plate. Now, strength of solid plate is given as A G F U by gamma M naught. So, A F F Y A G by gamma M naught. This is 1.1. A G is directly B into T. We, have to to not, we do not have to deduct the bolt area and F Y is 240 it is given. So, if you find out you will get strength of solid plate as 261818 Newton. List of all 3 is the strength of plate. So, it is 224352 Newton you will get efficiency around 85.69 percent. So, this is one numerical. Now, quickly we see another numerical that this all question came in the beta examinations. Okay. So, it is all easy just see it is given calculate the efficiency of lab joint using 18 mm diameter bolts 4.6 Fe 410 
thickness one is given as 8 mm another is given as 10 mm okay so have to find the efficiency that means we have to find all the three joint three strength okay now first shearing strength shearing strength is given as v d s b equal to 1 by 1.25 i am writing directly the formula okay it's 4 0 0 into now n n a n b n s a s b now here is the thread portion is only here okay no shank is attached to the shearing plane so n s will be directly 0 and n equal to 1 okay so it will be n n equal to 1 a n b equal to pi by 4 to 18 square just 0.78 to multiply the 0.78 you will get around 6670.66 newton for 1 volt ok. Now, this is a lab joint ok. There are not two parts there is a single part. So, if the connection has to fail this all 6 volt have to fail. So, the strength of bolt is into 6 here we have to take all 6 ok then it come out as 0 0 2 4 Newton. Okay. Similarly, do the bearing part for bearing V D P V. It's given as 2.5 kb d t f u by comma m b. Okay. Kb is again minimum of E by 3 d naught P by 3 d naught minus 0.25 f u by f u b 1. Okay. So, if you see let us assume p minimum first step to find out is 2.5 d d is here 18 mm around 45 mm. So, assume p little higher value whatever you can take you can take I have taken 50 mm. So, this is 50 and gauge also I have taken same as P for our convenience it is 50. Okay. What is the end distance? End distance is given as 1.5 D. So, it is D is 18. So, it is around 27 mm. So, let us take it is just 27 and also 27. So, total B width of the plate comes out as 154 mm. Okay. So, here if you find out you will see how many how much this is uh, <coughs> 27 by 3 into 20 again 50 by 3 into 20 minus 0 0.25 you will see how I how I got D not equal to 20 because D is 18 and so diameter of hole will be plus 2 that way 20 mm 400 again this is 410 is do by yourself. I am just giving a shortcut. Okay, this comes out as 0.45. This is 0 0.58, I think. Okay, and finally you will get KB will be around 0.45. Just check. Okay, so if you find the bearing value by putting all the formula, I am just writing the answer. Okay, you will get 318. 816 Newton okay, by multiplying with the for the 6 strength 6 volts. Okay. Now, for rupture strength of plate please find out this one by yourself. Okay. Okay. Now, previous one I have not talked about the T because 2 two thickness are given one is 8 mm another is 10 mm ok. So, here take always the minimum because no cover plates are there and we do not we do not have to add the cover plates ok. So, directly two plates are given 8 mm 10 mm just take as 8 mm 
the thickness ok. Now, here also it is given as 0.9 a n f u by gamma m 1. So, if you find out you will get around 2 to 1 9 9 0 Newton ok. So, the minimum of this is the shearing strength minimum of the 3 will be 2 to 0 0 to 4 Newton ok. Strength of plate solid plate strength is given as 2 6 8 8 0 0 Newton if you can find out the formula efficiency will get around 81.85 percent. Please do this yourself and if you can find just tell me in the comment section ok. So, that is it, it will do if some other numericals are there we will solve it and I think from the next I will start with the welding part ok. So, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please follow us on the Facebook page. The link is given in the description box. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon to never miss an update from Civil Simplified Learning. Thank you.